Hi, it's Michelle here and I'm back, kind of back. I haven't got um, my new connection sorted yet. As I said, well, that will be on the 14th of August. Um, so, um, yeah, technology is great, but um, the, the live videos um, do depend so much on your internet connection. So um, I haven't got unlimited data on my phone and yeah, I could um, uh, use my data, but it's not ideal. Um, a lot of what I like to teach uh, would involve showing my screen, um, doing demonstrations, that sort of thing. Great for short, just sort of chatty head to head videos like this um, that would be great or maybe for interviews that sort of thing then it would be fine but um, the uh, I've just learned that perhaps um, a backup plan would be to record also on another device so if you're doing a live video maybe you've got um, another tripod or camera you could set up uh, independently that, does, that has nothing to do with your in internet connection and then if it goes pear shaped on the live with your connection or whatever, then you've got a backup. Um, so there's nothing worse than going through a whole, well, a whole sort of plan of chatting and, you know, um, not just chatting, but uh, teaching or whatever, but it is, whatever it is you're trying to achieve, to sit, prepare it and do it. And then, um, and then it doesn't it doesn't work out as you wanted. It's so um, frustrating and annoying. Uh, nobody wants to waste their time. So yeah, re record on another device, and then you've still got re the pre-recorded video. Then so it's not wasted. And of course that can be shared all over the place as well, much easier than um, than a Facebook Live video. Um, quality would would probably be better too. So. That's um, worth remembering, I think. Um, yeah, so so in my case, my um, download speed, we've only got ADSL, an ADSL line to our house. And so there's no um, option for fibre um, or, or cable connection in our area because it's um, a, a, a small village. And um, so... It's not looking uh, likely to happen very soon, to be honest. So I've got to work with what with what I've got. So I will I will do some lives, but this one now I'm recording on Zoom, which I really really like. I'm just using the free version. Um, I'm, and I'm going to see if I was somewhere or sometimes at my home that the the internet isn't too bad for some unknown reason, time of day or what what i don't know what it is so i'm going to try maybe uh streaming this live if if i do that then i will this pre-recorded video live and then if i do that i will sort of say that before, before i do it um and the other thing i'm planning on putting in place for now is a, a vpn connection now this is because from what I've read about my provider before I changed to my new provider is that they use a, a managed connection. Um, I mean, we don't download lots of films or anything like that, but we do watch. Well, I don't actually. I don't watch anything, but my husband watches a lot of sport, a lot of television. Then uh, when our sons are here, they use uh, the PlayStation and they're playing sort of online games. And then obviously... Um, I use it for uploading a lot of videos, that sort of thing. So for a small household with um, a pretty poor connection, you could consider us kind of heavy users. And what happens is with a managed uh, connection, um, the ISP uh, decides, hmm, this particular household is a heavy user. They're using quite a lot of um, internet bandwidth so what they do is they uh they prioritize so so that so that i don't know that they've done this they don't tell you but i have um, found out since that our provider does this so they they basically lower your 
your bandwidth and that has shown to be true because I do regular speed tests so um, while I was getting in the past the maximum pretty much 16 17 mega, megabytes per second download um, and I was getting 1.1 1. 1. 1, 1.2 upload speed which is poor but it's it was the maximum um, of what they could provide on that line this last month it's been um, as low as four download speed and 0 0.3 upload speed which is pretty um, yeah we, you're not going to be able to do an awful lot with that you could probably log on and check your email but that would probably be about it so uh, something has definitely happened uh, and it seems to be going a little bit back up now um, so uh, and we haven't changed anything we haven't changed any wiring new devices anything nothing's changed um, so the only the only conclusion I could come to was it was the provider so anyway a VPN solved that because it stops uh, your ISP uh, tracking your usage um, as it happens I'm changing provider to one that doesn't um, doesn't do managed connections but there are other reasons to use a VPN too if you've got a VPN it will uh, encrypt all of your data it'll be a lot more secure um, it shouldn't slow down your connection at all that would be something I'd monitor they're not too expensive um, I think the one I was looking at uh, was with Cactus VPN and that was I think $58 something like that for the year um, and you can install a client on on your phone your tablets your um, but also on your modem uh, mostly I just want it to be on my modem which is another um, issue because the modem I've got and the modem that's going to be supplied from BT is a home hub um, it needs to support in order, in order to um, to use a VPN you need a DD WRT modem uh, which means it uses certain protocols connection protocols in order to, to enable the VPN to work um, and these modems don't so I think what I've got to do is set either keep the modem I've got or use the new BT one I'll probably keep the one I've got and then buy another router a DDWRT router uh, to set the VPN up on that so that will be my next fun project um, and I'll keep you posted how that goes um, but as I say for some reason the connection is uh, just seems to be getting better and I will get my new provider on the 14th so when's that five days time so hopefully I'll have um, I'll have everything uh, set up Sounds uh, sounds simple, probably not going to be, but there you go. So um, I'll leave this this uh, video here for now. If you've got any experience with the managed connections or being restricted on your bandwidth usage or experience with setting up uh, a VPN when you're using an ADSL line for your internet connection, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be so... So interested to, to, to hear your uh, input, hear your comments and input and thoughts on that. So yeah, please do leave um, leave me some feedback in the comments or contact me and uh, yeah, let me know. That would be great. So I'll leave it there for now and I'll speak to you all later. Bye.